We're going to be breaking down the numbers on two properties that I think are coronavirus proof. Cole from Las Vegas, this is your video. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey, real estate investors. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I am your host, James Wise, coming to you from the home office, hunkered down in the day of social distancing due to the coronavirus pandemic. And uh, I'm working with a new client right now. His name is Cole. Cole, let's go over a few things about you, brother. We're about to do, you've contracted me to do 10 properties for you. These are going to be the first two, okay? And uh, you're trying to purchase 10 properties over the course of the next five years. You'd like to use financing. You've got $250,000 to play with. And then, of course, we're going to leverage that out, get you as many properties as possible by getting you 30-year uh, financing, 25% down, low fixed rate interest. Okay, that is the very best way to invest your money in real estate, folks. You can quadruple your money, right? So my man Cole, he's got $250,000, but we're not going to try to buy $250,000 worth of real estate. No. We're going to take that $250,000 and we're going to buy a million dollars worth of real estate with it, okay? If you guys do not have lenders and you're watching Cole's video right now, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. We will get our list of lenders to you. They'll pre-approve pre you. And that works for all 50 states in the United States, guys. So even if you're just watching this, you're an investor and you're, you're interested in other markets, right? Because Cleveland's not the only market we're in, right? We handle everything top to bottom in Cleveland. But we work with other turnkey providers in other turnkey markets like uh, Kansas City, Memphis, Tennessee, you know, Indianapolis, Indiana. We work, you know, coast to coast with other providers. We could send you there. We could help you out. So whatever, you know, market you're the most interested in, where you want to get your cash flow, okay, guys, our lenders will be able to take care of that so long as you live in the 50 states and the properties in the 50 states. And my uh, my foreign nationals out there, we do have financing for you guys as well. So send an email to sales at holtonwise.com. We'll get you the list. Now, the terms for you guys outside of the United States, they are not going to be as good. Uh, you're going to pay a little bit higher down payment and you're going to pay more interest, but you know, you are riskier for the bank. Now, enough of that though. Back to my man Cole, because Cole, you're watching this video right now. Everybody else, you're watching it probably like 90 days after Cole saw it in a private link. I don't release these videos publicly on Holton Wise TV till after all the dust is settled and these deals are done. So the two properties I'm showing you guys today don't think that uh, they're available for you. You know, these are long gone. You know, Cole is paying for this video. So you know, I'm keeping it private. I don't want anybody out there snaking cold deals. Just after the fact, I want you guys all to learn from what we do here on Holton Wise TV. So Cole, with your portfolio, you're, you're open to risk, you're open to Section 8, but you wanted to start off super low risk. And I like that. I think that's incredibly smart. You know, you're a new investor. You've currently, uh, you've done some stock market investing and you know, you've uh, invested in raw land before, but this is going to be the first time you've invested in rental real estate and, of course, rental real estate in the Cleveland market. And you were very interested in a property. So I want to jump right into that. 27100 Lakeshore Boulevard, Euclid, Ohio, 44132. This property is listed by Remax for $155,000. They just listed this thing. And it is a beautiful, beautiful side-by-side -side duplex, man. You got a good eye for quality real estate. This is a quality property, right? We got the brick on the bottom, the vinyl up top, you know, just a beautiful side-by-side. -side. This is like set up more or less like two single family homes, separate basement. So really what you're buying here is more like a town home. It's not like a duplex where you get your up, down duplex. The, the thing is like with up, down duplex, you know, they feel like a duplex. It feels like an apartment. You always got somebody above you or below you. You got shared common space in the basement. So you're doing your laundry, but 
you know, your neighbors doing their laundry in the same room as you. See, with these side-by-side -side duplexes like that, it's not the case. Completely separate basement. At no point is there any common area between you and your neighbors. So it's really just like a single family home with one shared wall down the middle. So because of that, we get much higher rents on these. And then more importantly than the higher rents, what we see is a much longer tenancy, okay? Guys, renting a unit for like 50 or or $100 a month more uh, is not how you change your investment uh, performance. That's not how you make a ton more money in real estate. 100 bucks a month per unit in rent, that's nothing. Nobody cares about that. Where you're going to make your money is reducing turnovers, right? Instead of doing like a five to $6,000 turnover every two years, if you could do it every six years or every eight years or every 10 years, that's where you're going to make a ton of money. Because when people move out, right? And the goal is not to do five or $6,000 turnovers uh, every time. Usually you'll get like one of those big ones and you harden the unit. That's how we do our renovations here at Holton Wise. We harden the hell out of these units, right? We remove carpet, we buff the floors, refinish the floors. You know, put a put a polyurethane coat, uh, clear coating on top of that after we stain the hardwoods. And that way, if you know tenants get pets and they're pissing on the floor, they get kids, they're pissing on the floor, this or that, it protects the floor. We use all neutral uh, paint, and then you know we remove a lot of things, anything that can uh, be pulled on or broken, we try to remove. So, you know, in between your turnovers, they're much smaller. But you know, the first one's going to be kind of costly, and then after that, though, you still got those turnover costs, even though we do our best to mitigate them, reduce the cost they're still going to eat into your cash flow. You're going to have to pay for the turnover. You're going to have to pay another leasing fee and you're going to miss rent for one to two months, right? So if we can pick up assets like this, where you don't have to deal with that, that's how you're going to make a ton of money. As we're seeing, right, this unit, it's, it's in pretty damn nice shape, okay? Now it's in good shape. It's well taken care of, but I want to do some work to this thing, right? The hardwoods, they look pretty good. The walls from the photos, they look, uh, they look pretty good as well, but I'm sure once we get really close to them, you know, we're going to notice a little bit of, uh, you know, wear and tear. Where I really want to spend the money, though, is when we get into this kitchen, right? See, for this particular unit, I actually am going to try to get us $1,000 a month. Now, this is a 3-2, and here is the thing with this particular unit. The reason I'm going to be able to get so much rent for this unit is I want to go Section 8. Now, I love Euclid. You picked out Euclid because you've probably seen a lot of my content, and you like Euclid because I love the fact that Amazon – is there. They just opened up a new fulfillment center in Euclid that brought thousands of jobs to the Cleveland market. And, you know, we're dealing with the coronavirus, right? I'm, I'm at my home office. I'm not in the Holton Wise TV studio. You know, millions upon millions of people are currently unemployed right now. But you know who's got the most job security? Nobody has more job security than people who work at Amazon. Amazon is picking up the slack where all the retailers uh, are not able to work. So Amazon is probably the safest bet. So because of that, normally I'd want to target, uh, you know, we could target the cash paying market because you got all these folks working at Amazon. The minimum wage for Amazon is 15 bucks. So everybody working at Amazon makes at least $15 an hour. It puts you right in the sweet spot of uh, your tenant base, right? But the reason I want to go section eight on this is because we'll get more rent. Why? Because we have the second bath, right? We have this tiny little second bathroom in the basement. It's not great. Okay, it's just a crummy little bathroom with the shower kind of outside. But here's the cool thing. With the fact that we have that second bathroom and the fact that the square footage in the basement is finished, you know, you got this nice little bar area, the Section 8 program is going to factor that in when they give their rent estimate, right? So as you see from the chart, the other unit doesn't have that second bath. That's the tenant's unit. They're paying 900 I believe we'd get 900 for this unit too if we went on the cash market. But I believe since we have the finished basement, and we have the second bathroom. Uh, the other unit, I believe, has the finished basement as well, but it don't have the second bath. Because of those two things, though, in this unit, Section 8 will give us a higher voucher than we can get on the cash market. So I believe we'll be able to get $1,000 a month out of this. Couple that in with the other tenant already paying us $900. We're going to be able to bring in $1,900 a month out of this sucker. Now, back to the photos of the property, though. Back to the kitchen, okay? We're not going to be able to get a thousand bucks a month right now. Not with this kitchen, right? The current owner, he bought this thing in 1994. He lived in this unit, this vacant unit that you're seeing pictures of, and he always rented the other unit out. So this thing hadn't been updated since at least 1994. And let me tell you, this kitchen wasn't put in in 1994. We got these like old crappy cabinets, uh, you know, 
like this built-in stove that's probably really old. We're probably going to want to get rid of that. Probably just replace these down cabinets with like uh, some Home Depot or Lowe's quality cabinetry. The backslash looks okay and the floor looks okay to me, but you know, this cabinetry is totally dated, right? So we want to get rid of this. And then in addition to that, I want to spend some money in this bathroom. Okay. Now this is, you know, you got the pink tile. We may be able to work with the pink tile and, and, uh, you know, get like a badass, you know, shower, uh, you know, shower, uh, recoding or covering or do something nice with the shower. As far as this vanity goes, it looks pretty modern. We could probably work with that. And then maybe like a cool, you know, this might match good with like the nice neutral agreeable gray that we're going to put through the whole house. So we get like a really updated kitchen. You know, everything is nice in the kitchen, super nice in the kitchen. And then this, this bathroom has kind of a retro vibe, but we kind of like couple that with the updates. It should look nice and new. Right now with everything being old, you got this old wood trim looking color, the old 1970s kitchen or whatever. The whole thing just looks dated, but we might be able to work with this tile. Uh, to make it like, you know, retro with the new stuff. So if we are able to work with it, I believe we'll be able to do a badass reno in this particular unit for about $10,000. We spend about 10 grand, then it's gonna look beautiful. And then we'll present it to all the section eight tenants out there so we can get that extra hundred bucks a month in rent, that government guaranteed rent. That's, that's gonna be perfect, man. So that's how we're gonna get that 1900 a month in rent. Now. As far as what we get to take home from that brother, okay? 1900 comes in, you're spending 95 on repairs, maintenance, vacancy, and non-payment, 95 on CapEx, right? CapEx on this is gonna be, is nice because this is a newer property in the grand scheme of things in, in the Cleveland market. We got a lot of stuff built in like the 1920s and whatnot. This particular property is a little bit newer than that. This was built in 57, right? So, you know, it's probably 30, 40 years uh, newer than a lot of the stuff you'll see out here. So that, that's quite nice. Taxes, 452. Insurance should be 100 bones. I uh, In the show notes below for you, Cole, and everybody else who's watching, and this goes back to what I was talking about earlier, guys, as far as our lenders go, it doesn't matter if you want to be in Cleveland or you want to invest everywhere else. We have lenders for you guys on a coast-to-coast -coast basis. Same thing with the insurance. Click the notes below. You'll see a link to lower your property insurance. We own a farmer's insurance agency. We're also appointed through other insurance companies. And all we do is work with landlords and we could lower your insurance premiums uh, by playing with the policies and shopping them around and making sure there's no riders on there that landlords don't need. Like your regular insurance guy, the guy that does your boat or your house or whatever, he don't know what he's doing in regards to, you know, 100 year old rental properties in the Midwest. We do, we could lower that. And that's coast to coast guys, don't have to be in Cleveland, just like those uh, lenders are nationwide. So is our insurance. So if you need insurance in Chicago or Detroit, Erie, Pennsylvania, whatever, man, click the notes below. Let us quote you if you already have a rental portfolio, give us the information on that. We'll see if we can lower your policy. The, the insurance premium for this one I'm anticipating will be about a hundred bucks a month, but my team will need to, uh, you know, officially quote you Cole. So don't uh, take that as the gospel, right? It's going to be around there, but that might not be the exact number. Uh, moving on, we got water sewer for 150, lawn care 44 PM 190. So of that 1900 bucks a month, you're going to bring in, I anticipate you're going to spend $1,221. Now, a lot of people talk about the 50% rule, which generally is a decent like uh, back of the napkin math, okay? What that means is generally speaking, uh, a rental property is gonna cost approximately half of your rents. But this one, as you can see, is, is higher than half, okay? And that's why it's very important to do this due diligence on these rental property guys. If you're just running this thing thinking it's gonna be half, you would, you would miss out on a few hundred dollars, right? You wouldn't understand that. So. What we're anticipating on average over the long haul is bringing home $679 a month or $8,148 a year, which brings me to our price. This thing was just listed at $155. And Cole, you were very high on this one. You're like, dude, I like this one. Let's put it in an offer, put it in an offer. I'm like, whoa, whoa, bro. We got to wait. We got to wait. Let me do the analysis on it. You know, just looking at it, top of my head, I'm like, oh, $155 feels overpriced to me, right? The dude that owns it, the dude that's been living there since 94, he bought it for 130000 in 1994, okay? I don't think it's worth 155000 today, especially not with the coronavirus pandemic going on. 
my gut tells me that the, the right price and that what I think we can probably get is a little bit of Corona discount here. I think we could pick this thing up for even cheaper than he bought it in 94. I think we could pick it up for 125,000. So we pick it up for 125,000 plus the anticipated $10,000 in repairs. We're all into this beast for $135,000. That's going to be a cap of six. Your mortgage down payment's gonna be 31,250. The mortgage payment will be just under 400 bones a month. So after you're paying off that mortgage, you're gonna bring home 284 a month, right? So you're gonna make almost 3,500 bucks a year clear on this property and your cash on cash return. Now, when you're factoring in your cash on cash return, folks, don't just take your net cash flow after the mortgage and divide it by your down payment. You have to remember, we got that bounce, wow, 1960s, 1970s, or well, more accurately, probably 1957, right? That's when the property was built. We got this old, old ass kitchen, right? That ain't going to cut it, man. We got to modernize that kitchen. So we take our down payment, which is 31250 plus $10,000 that I'm anticipating we're going to spend on that. So when you do your 3,408, you divide it by the new number, which is going to be 41,250, which gives you your actual cash on cash return, which is 8.3%. So all in all, not like super sexy and, um, you know, like, you know, knock your socks off return, but dude, that's a solid return. Uh, and you picked out a very solid property. Okay. It's just, you know, it's a very nice property. You want to come in low risk at first. This is the right property to buy uh to start a portfolio because dude we're not going to get crazy ass tenants in here i mean we might i mean it happens but like you know you're not going to have just a string of problems i wouldn't anticipate that here solid property solid neighborhood recession proof in my opinion because we got amazon in addition we're going with the guaranteed government rent in at least one of the units because I think that's really going to allow us to maximize our cash flow. So I like this deal for you, but we got to get you a discount, dude. I don't think it's worth 155,000, dude. I think with, you know, the way everything is at right now and the fact that there's the coronavirus and, you know, this guy's clearly already moved out of the property. I'm sure he would like to just get rid of this thing, move on with his life. And I'm sure he's aware as a seller that, uh, you know, selling during a, a global pandemic when a lot, you know, we've had a record number of unemployments, you know, he might have to take a little bit of a haircut here. So that's why we're going to get in there. We're going to get aggressive. We're going to try to pick it up at 125. One more thing before we move on from this property is the city of Euclid. It has what's called a point of sale in the contract. We are going to try to negotiate that the seller will clear off the point of sale, which I don't think should be an issue because this is a very nice property. It, it appears to be well taken care of. So I don't think there's going to be many violations cited. And I think it'd be very easy for them to uh, just knock those out. They haven't actually ordered the point of sale yet. So we'll have to wait for them to get that. But I think that's something my team can negotiate in this deal for you. If you call the don't understand what I mean when I talk about point of sale. If you've never heard me talk about it and anybody else watching this in the show notes below, I got a video explaining exactly what the point of sale is and how that process works. It's something that you have to deal with in many of the municipalities here in the Cleveland market. Now I want to go to a word from the sponsors of today's show, Cole, and then we're going to stick in Euclid, stick with Amazon, stick with low risk and go over a single family that I found for you that I think you might like maybe even more than this one. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit fshouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Feal, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, 
in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Hey, Cole, welcome back, brother. Now, this second property, this is a, a little bit uh, of a change gears, a little bit, not a lot. You, you primarily, you're interested in duplexes, triplexes, quads. I, I picked that up, but you had told me in your notes to me that, hey, man, if the numbers make sense on a single family, I'm down to go single family. So, you know, let me know on the, you know, when we do the next video, if you want me to keep it to multifamily, but I don't know. I, I saw this single family, just a nice little teeny little single family. It's right in Euclid, which is, you know, I love Euclid and you obviously love Euclid because you're very high on the Lakeshore property. So I thought I should bring this to your attention. You know, it could be a hit, could be a miss. I don't know. You tell me, but I like it a lot, man. 471 East 260th street, Euclid, Ohio, 44132. Now it's been listed by Howard Hanna. Uh, almost three months ago, and I think it's on the market for almost three months without moving for a few reasons. Number one, the price. I think 47500 is too much for this property. Number two, it's, um, it, it, it's, it's a unique property, okay? Now, there's something to be said about buying like, you know, just really high quality structures. Now, if you're trying to just get the best high quality structures, definitely the Lakeshore property is the better property. Uh, but this one I didn't think was like a bad structure, but it's not necessarily the norm. What you're going to see in Euclid, you're going to see like a lot of larger homes than this one, right? You're going to see some bungalows and a bunch of brick homes that are just a little bit bigger, okay? This is just a little guy. It's a little ranch. It's uh, got no basement. It's a little two-bedroom home. So it's very, very tiny. And I believe one of the bedrooms uh, doesn't even look like there's a door to it. So we would have to, you know, kind of do a little something there. As far as the cosmetics go, some of it is, is oak. Okay, like we got fresh carpet and we appear to have fresh paint in here, but you know, as far as the color scheme, it's not like super great, right? We got the old uh, looking wood trim, the blue, it's okay. The kitchen, it's eh, you know, I mean, the, it's not the greatest kitchen. It's definitely dated. You know, we could spend a little bit of money. Um, and then like some of this like wood, uh, like wainscoting, wainscoting type looking stuff here. Maybe we'd want to paint that white. Um, but all in all, it's like, you know, it's kind of decent. It's kind of fresh looking. Uh, and it's just a small home. So like doing renovations in here are not going to be all that much. What I believe it, we want to do is we want to spend approximately five grand, just, you know, cosmetically sprucing it up. And as far as the price that I'd like you to pick it up at, I don't want you picking it up at 47.5. I think we can aggressively negotiate with these listing agents and get this thing all the way down for you at $32,000. Now, other homes in the neighborhood, like I said, they're bigger. You know, we got bungalows and stuff that are traditionally bigger. So we're not dealing with like uh, the normal sized home. So what I think that's going to do is I think that's probably going to push out a lot of the owner occupied buyers that are looking to buy in Euclid, right? So that just leaves us with rental property investors. But there's a lot of rental property investors out there right now that are sitting on the sidelines because of the coronavirus. So I think with those two factors, that's why I think you'd be able to come in and we can really just try to scoop this thing up for a basement price, 32K. And then I want to put 5K, just cosmetically improving it. Like, again, just like some minor things, like some other stuff too, I just want to go over like, uh, in the one picture where you see like the living room and the, in the dining room area, like that old looking fan, dude, that's like, you know, my grandma's fan. We got to get rid of that stuff. Plus that'll harden the unit, right? You don't have to worry about spending money on stuff like that at turnovers. If like the tenants kids like jump on it or hang on it or tenants have a party, this or that. And there's another old looking fan in the room with the, uh, the, the, the brown looking wainscoting type stuff, like just, you know, getting rid of stuff like that. Right. And, and just modernizing it, just making it look fresh. We do all that. I think we'll rent this sucker for eight seventy five dollars a month. And this is when we can go Section 8, but we could also go to the cash paying market. I don't think we're going to get a premium here because we got a small amount of square footage and we got, you know, small amount of bedroom bathroom counts. So we're not going to get like a premium on the voucher program. So, you know, here's where we'd want to target those Amazon workers, man. You get yourself some nice Amazon workers making at least 15 bucks a month, you know, nice solid stable tenants, dude. They, they, they don't want to pay over a thousand for like a, you know, a bigger home. You know, they want to be on a budget. Maybe it's just a guy and his girlfriend or something like that. Maybe it's two roommates. Uh, it's like getting a, a duplex, but it's 
pure single family home, dude. You're like in the duplex price range a little bit, right? Uh, but you don't have neighbors right next to you, get your own yard, you have a little fire pit, things of that nature, dude. I think it's gonna be perfect for like the Amazon worker base, right? So with that said, right, 875 a month coming in, we would need to spend 43 on repairs and maintenance, vacancy and non-payment, CapEx, taxes 101, insurance can be much cheaper on this one because the value is so much lower. So only 60, water, sewer, 75, lawn care, you're going to get some savings here. You know, you've seen that nice little garage out there. Tenants can go ahead and store their own lawnmower. And we got one tenant, one yard. So if the grass doesn't get cut and the city issues a citation, we know who to blame. We can't get the tenants to cut uh, grass on a multi-unit property because, you know, how you work out who has to do it, right? With this one, single family, we push that off onto those tenants. PM would only be 87. So the total expenses on this would only be 452. So you should bring home 423. Now, go ahead and finance this sucker. You're only going to need $8,000 out of your pocket because, uh, you know, the property is so low. If we could pick it up for this uh, $32,000 price. And yes, our lenders do loan this low. Our lenders will write mortgages as low as $20,000. And those are still 30-year fixed interest mortgages. So again, guys, if you want my list of lenders, sales at holtonwise.com, we will get that to you. Now, 8K is your down payment. Your mortgage is 24000 So your mortgage payment, dude, is teeny. 101 so you should be bringing home 322 a month or 3864 a year right so you're still bringing in uh you know a bunch of cash flow off of this property even though it's so much cheaper and your cash on cash return is going to be much higher than the lakeshore one at 29.7 percent because all you need is eight thousand dollars for that down payment and then i think just like a teeny tiny little five thousand uh, dollars cosmetically and you know going forward like stuff is always going to be like pretty cheap like the roof right you get some of these big duplexes here in this market i mean you're, you're normally looking at like a seven thousand dollar roof this teeny little house i mean that's that's probably only like a four thousand dollar roof now, as far as the point of sale, because again, we're still in Euclid, so there, there is a point of sale required, but the seller uh, has already made it clear that they are ready um, to go ahead and make this point of sale clear. And then in addition to everything I've said, one other thing, I'll pull it back up on the screen for you so you can take a look that I really like. On the side of the house, what we don't often see in this price range uh, with a lot of these rental properties is an AC unit, man. This is all about getting you safe investments. Now, again, I don't think this house is like as nice, of course, as the Lakeshore one, but we're trying to get you stuff that's going to appeal to tenants, that's going to work well during this coronavirus, that's going to be safe, and is going to reduce your turnovers going forward in the long term. And that AC unit right there, dude that being something that's not the norm in the Cleveland market. A lot of times you just have tenants put those like window units uh, in their units in this price range. Have an AC is going to set you apart from the rest of the competition, which should keep those butts in your house, which should reduce your turnover. So that, that's why I like this one quite a bit. That's why I wanted to bring it to your attention, right? Even with single families out here, a lot of people, you know, and they're on home markets, it might not be the case where the single families can cash flow just as much or more than the multifamilies. But here in the Cleveland market, that is very much the case. So that's why I wanted to bring this to your attention. I think both would be a, a great start to your portfolio in Cleveland, but hey, man, we're going to do another eight. We're contracted to do at least another eight. And uh, you let me know, right? Who, who's to say the sellers are, are going to agree with me and actually come down to our prices? Who's to say maybe they don't come down to our prices today, but six months from now, they come back to us, right? You know, because we're trying to get some hefty discounts off of what they're looking for. So that's why it's smart. You got the 10 property package, you know, we can really try to work out some good deals. We're not just putting in offers at list price, just trying to pick crap up uh, that's overpriced, right? We're going to work really hard and get you as much money uh, with this portfolio over the long haul. So let me know how you want to go about this. Uh, you know, if you want us to move forward and write the offers for you, just let us know. Sales at HoltonWise.com. Myself and my team of assistants, uh, we'll get in there. We'll make both of these, uh, you know, both of these contingent on financing. So that means we're going to make them contingent on appraisal. They're going to need to appraise for an amount equal to or greater than the purchase price. We're going to make them contingent on your own third-party home inspection. As far as all the mechanicals, uh, you know, nothing looks brand new, right? Everything is kind of on the older side. Um, so you'll get to see exactly, uh, 
the condition of those based upon the home inspector's, uh, you know, assessment there. And then I'm sure there's other things I'm not noticing, right? I'm just doing this from the, uh, the home studio here. So, you know, we're going to get that inspector in there going over everything. And, you know, we may need to renegotiate after that inspection comes about, right? So, you know, doing the due diligence, you know, this is just step one. But step two is to, to get the contract accepted. And then step three, my team will coordinate all those inspections and appraisals, et cetera, et cetera. And then, of course, when the deals do finish, when you close, we'll take over the property management. These renovations I talked about, my team will handle that. We'll get you some tenants. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there, man. We'll build your portfolio for years to come, brother. So sales at holdwise.com. We'll move forward. Anybody else, uh, if you're watching Cole's video and you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, much like he has, go to HoltonWise.com, click the property search for sale tab, check out the MLS search analysis show and uh, order yourself a package. Right now we're doing a sale, 10 properties for under $2,000 that is going to happen during the entire coronavirus pandemic, showing you guys that now is the time to take take uh, action, right? Some folks are shying away, but other folks are getting aggressive because I think there's a ton of discounts that can be had when everyone else is in chaos. And, you know, even though we're working a little bit differently, I'm here at the home studio office and some of my sales and media team are also working offsite. The rest of our team, our essential field staff, they're still very much uh, working, putting together deals, handling maintenance, handling renovations. It's an essential business and we are still operating full systems to go with just a few minor variations, guys. So check out that sale. These prices are not going to last when the coronavirus pandemic is totally over and everything's back to normal. Those prices are going to go back up to the normal rate. Y'all, so get in now. You don't have to use them all right now. You can bank them. You can do one or two videos right now. And then if you're one of those folks out there who's waiting till after coronavirus ends to decide to deploy your capital, you could just pick them up now while I got them priced cheaply and just bank them indefinitely. They do not expire. You get an account with us, you know, we, we put it in your account bank. And, uh, you know, if you don't want to do another video for another eight months, that's fine. But normally we used to charge 800 bones uh, per property analysis like this. So right now it's 10 of them for $2,000, the best deal we've ever offered. And, uh, you know, unless there's another global pandemic, we ain't going to bring a sale like this back to you guys. All right. That's all I've got for y'all today on this episode of the MLS Search Analysis Show. Do me a solid and make sure you smash that subscribe button. As always, I'm James Wise with Colton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Over 50% of those living in the greater Memphis area rent their home. This fact combined with the high price to rent ratio is why Forbes rates Memphis, Tennessee, as one of the top real estate investment markets in the country. Memphis Investment Properties and their sister property management company, Reedy & Company Realtors, are among the largest and most trusted turnkey operations in this market. With over 30 years in business, a portfolio consisting of more than 2,700 active rentals, and an impeccable track record renovating over 6,000 single-family homes, it's no surprise they are one of the most reputable turnkey operations in the United States. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia, and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, 
real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.